Hey, what's up, guys? And in this video, we're going to be going over the um, new side event for Canadian difficulty and Epic difficulty, just to see like the rewards in total. And in some areas, um, there it's really good. In some areas, I think it should be improved just a little bit. But um, yeah, let's just go over it. So first, let's just let's just go over Epic really quick. This is what like the highest we've had for a while is. So for all the gold put together, um, for all the weeks and the exploration and completion, you get like four hundred thirty thousand. You get 9,000 tier 5 basic, 37,000 tier 2A, 10,000 5 star shards, and six, uh, 1,000 6 star. And you get around 4 tier 4 basic, a little bit less. Um, so, for epic, eh, still pretty kind of shit. But then we got this new Canadian difficulty, so this is going to be like the next high. This is supposed to be like Cavalier, basically. They're testing it to see. So, and for all the weeks and completion exploration, you get 800,000 gold, which I think is really good. You get a little bit more than a third of a tier 5 basic, which is eh, eh, questionable. Um, you get 37,000 tier 2A, same as epic, which is kind of weird. Um, oh, by the way, I am only human, so I might have messed up the math because I was kind of lazy and didn't want to get a calculator. So, yeah. You get 16,000 5 star shards, not bad, but still probably could be like around, around 30,000, really, or at least 20,000, 25,000, I don't know. And then a little bit less than a fourth of a six star. Um, I feel like it should have been at like, I don't know. Once, okay, look, if it's 2,500 on average for the new side events, it's also 2,500 for like the actual main event on Epic. And when Cavalier difficulty comes out, like the whole Cavalier difficulty for each monthly event, not just the side ones. Um, if you have at least 5,000 six star shards in that, which I imagine you would, you should be able to get a th um, about a six star a month which is pretty good so yeah that's pretty cool and then you get three two percent tier five cc crystals for a total of six tier five cc which i think is i mean it's cool but <sighs> you're not gonna be forming any tier five ccs because you're probably gonna get a different class for each one so you're probably gonna get two percent for each class which is pretty much nothing so for the entire month, and I haven't done Master difficulty, this is just Epic and Canadian, so Master, you probably get a little bit more tier 5 star shards and tier 2A and more gold, but just from these two, you get around 1.25 million gold, which is really good, really like to see that, more gold the better, 27,000 um, tier 5 basic, so, meh, I mean, it's like a little bit more than half of a tier 5B for a small monthly event, that's pretty easy, so not bad. 74,000 tier 2 alpha, so like a little bit like around 2 tier 2 alpha. Um, 26,000 five star shards, so yeah, maybe if um, Canadian was like 20,000, then you can get three in total, but yeah, it's still pretty good. Um, and then 3,375 six star shards, so that is really good. I like to see that's like a third of a six star. And um, there's some more stuff in Epic I didn't put in, like tier 4 class, but dude, no, I don't care to put that in, no one cares about that shit, we're looking for the tier 5 CCs now for your end game, so yeah, tell me what you think about these rewards, um, I think they're gonna be, I think it's pretty good, pretty good indeed, the gold is very nice, I, I like looking at that gold, so yeah, um, hope you guys enjoyed this video, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one, peace.